Hello everyone, it's Tom the Taxi Driver, and today we're going to be topping up my oil. I'm just going to put my hood up because it's lovely outside. You might be wondering, why do I need to put oil in an electric cab? Well, cheating slightly, because my cab is actually technically a hybrid. So there is actually a generator that does kick in and out to kind of keep the batteries topped up when you do run out of charge. So it's a great, great little invention. So I've got to get in the cab, of course, pop the bonnet would help. Bonnet catch is just underneath here somewhere. And yeah, let's get underneath that bonnet. <laughs> this is quite nice, it's keeping me a little bit sheltered underneath here. A little bit of an overview about oils. So this is an incredibly, incredibly thin oil. It's actually a 020 oil. Now, if you know what these numbers mean, Basically, this refers to the weight or the viscosity of the oil. Um, the first number is the cold viscosity, i.e. The, the thickness of the oil uh, when it's cold. And then 20 is then when it's up to operating temperature. So then the, the thickness uh, when you get up to operating temperature. W is supposed to stand for weight because you have certain weights of oil. Um, and the reason why oils are so thin now is because of things like start-stop technology or on this cab, because the generator kicks in at different points, it's going from dead cold to then having to start up, to have to run, to get hot very quickly. So the idea of having thin oils is that that oil can then spread around the engine and lubricate in you know, areas much, much quicker. Whereas years gone by, your old 2050 oil, it was somewhat like treacle, you know? And that was the kind of the notion, the idea that you have to allow the engine or the car to warm up. If you give a car a lot of beans uh, without the car being warmed up, then of course the oil hasn't got around all the pistons and whatnot and however engines work. And of course that could then cause the engine to seize up because it's not appropriately lubricated. So this is a 020 grade oil. Uh, there's a few different types, but what's important for the LEVC cabs is that it has to be a Volvo spec oil. There'll be certain additives in here that I think a lot of it's kind of just sales mumbo jumbo, but it is supposedly to be like a clean burn and it'll have certain additives that are specific to like this engine, for instance. Branding really doesn't matter because so long as it meets that specification, uh, most of these are all fully synthetic now. Between synthetics, you used to have mineral-based oil, uh, semi-synthetic, and then you have fully synthetic. Over time, what happens is that a synthetic-based oil, or the more synthetic the oil is, the uh, longer it stays at this viscosity. Oil tends to break down over time, obviously multiple cycles, how long it's been heated, how long it's been in the engine for. So what might have started out as a 1040 grade oil might become much thinner over time, whereas a synthetic-based oil has more don't know what the exact properties are, but synthetic based properties that stop that oil breaking down as much. So it, it effectively fully synthetic is there a much longer lasting oil, but most of them generally are now. So we're gonna get in here. I've actually got myself a flexi funnel um, because the actual, the oil fill up point is in a really, it is over here and you can see it's a bit of a, bit of a way to get to. The dipstick's just down here. Um, I've checked this uh, a couple of times and it's, it's just above the minimum mark. Now technically between the minimum and the maximum mark is about one litre um, but I'm going to be you know slow and cautious because having too much oil in an engine is just as bad as having not enough oil so we're going to top up now. I mean, that oil is just so thin. It's like water. Look at that. I've never had an oil that thin before. I used to have 530 on my uh, my Focus, my Ford Focus, but 020, man, that is just ridiculous. Just getting out all that last little oil and whatnot. Um, pop that back in there. Boom, easy peasy. Test that dipstick. It's kind of a weird dipstick because you can see it's not actually got like, you know, your minimum maximum marks very well on there. It's kind of got a series, but I was kind of down here on the minimum. So let's just check that again. Boom. It should be straight in there very quickly. That's better. Yeah, you're about halfway up the dipstick now, so that's not too bad. I'm probably just going to add a little bit more, I think. Nice, 
so that's it. That's how you check the engine oil on an LEBC TXE. I know not many of you own this, but it's kind of interesting to see underneath the bonnet of one of these things. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of my other taxi videos here on my YouTube channel. Take care, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.